Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. Originally released in 2008 on Xbox 360 and on PlayStation 3, but that was only in Japan. So the world outside Japan only got to play this game on the Xbox 360. We could call it an exclusive, you know. But now it is re-released for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC and the Switch. In other words, now it is way more accessible. A game I've been wanting for a long time, okay? I'm a huge fan of the Tales of series. I have played so many of the games, not all of them, okay? I haven't really played some of the earlier titles, but anything in recent years I have played, you know? Tales of Symphonia 1 and 2, Exilia 1 and 2, Graces, Sestiria, Berseria, Tales of the Abyss, you know? <laughs> There are just so many great Tales of games and it is a JRPG series that is very dear to me. Very huge fan, been for years. But I feel like Vesperia is the one that got away for me anyway. You know, I've never really had an Xbox 360. So when I heard that this game was being re-released with like some small enhancements anyway, I was really happy. And for the Switch, that is a dream come true my favorite console at the moment, you know, I do my bed gaming with the Switch a lot. So I asked Bandai Namco Nordic for a review code and I got that. So yeah, this is gonna be an honest review. I got the review code from Bandai Namco Nordic. Follow their social media. They asked me to tell everyone to follow their social medias. Story! <laughs> you follow Yuri, a former imperial soldier who lives in the lower quarter of town. He has an incredibly likable personality. He's like sarcastic and always with a smart comment on things. He really has a sense of humor, so you know, I really like this character, you know? In Tales games, in general, I don't always like the main protagonist, but this one, immediately like this guy. I like this sort of personality. Mm -hmm. He lives with the poor and, you know, he lives in lower quarters. He doesn't really care about, like, social status and money. He is, like, being fair to everyone, no matter what, even royalty, and you know, if you're poor, if you're royal, doesn't matter to him. So, you know, I really like him. Our story is set in a world where something called Blastia is the source of energy for everything, including huge barrier fields around cities to keep monsters out. Yuri joins up with new people he encounters, and together they work for several causes, including peace and etc. Not gonna spoil the story too much, but you know, that is like the start. Someone steals a Blastia core from the lower quarter where he lives in, the, you know, the starting city. And that pisses him off, so he goes after this thief. That is all you really need to know about the story, if you're gonna play this anyway. I want everything to be a surprise for you if you're gonna play this game. Gameplay! <laughs> What? So the gameplay is like most traditional RPGs. It's like all the other Tales games, if you have ever played a Tales of game. And by traditional RPG, I mean like Final Fantasy games, you know, you control your characters, you get more people into your party, you traverse from town to town, often you have like an overworld. But the thing is here in Tales, it is not turn-based combat. The combat is that you go into a separate fighting screen with real-time action combat. So you can move your character around and you do attacks in real time. And you can use items and you can use arts, which are uh, special attacks. Good story for once that I could understand. The story in this game is really easy to understand. Some Tales games have me so confused with the story. Like Tales of Exilia 2, that game, it's a freaking complex story. I often didn't really understand what was happening. But this one, I actually understand everything that is happening. It's an easy story. Storytelling. Nothing too complicated anyway. You can buy or find better equipment as you go along. You traverse the overworld from one location to another. Really love overworlds in games like this, you know. You can even see enemies on the fields and you can choose to avoid them if you want to. Another part of the gameplay is uh, conversing, as in any RPG I am sure. 
but uh, not only the traditional conversing, there's also like really entertaining conversations in something called skits. I love the skits, okay? They are always funny. Explore towns, level up, do some grinding and go to the next story place and you know. The combat felt a bit stiff at first because I'm used to the more fluid combat found in Exilia, Sisteria, Berseria. It is an older title, this is a game from 2008. So the combat feels sort of stiff in the beginning, yeah. But uh, it got better uh, as I unlocked more arts and stuff like that, which are special attacks like I mentioned. You can also control either one of your party members. You can change them around and choose your playstyle. They are all different. Connect several controllers and friends on your couch can control the other party members in combat as well. So there's actually a little coach co-op in this game. I haven't tried that because I don't have friends that play games. And I don't live <laughs> with someone that is a gamer. So you know. So if you ever travel to Norway, please come over to my place and play games with me. Mm -hmm. I need gaming friends to do couch co-op with. <laughs> graphics. Immediately I was amazed by the graphics in this game. I was so amazed by the fluidity. It was fluid. Of the character's movement. I even feel like the newer Tales games are not that good in, you know, the movement of the character. It feels really good, if you know what I mean. If you play the game, you will know what I mean. I love the colors, but that shouldn't come as a surprise. I always like colorful games. The places where you can feel it's an older game, on the other hand, is in towns and dungeons where, as you cannot control the camera around, it is fixed. That is where you feel this is an older title. Maybe because nowadays we are spoiled. We don't often see fixed camera positions uh, anymore in modern games anyway. Uh, but it's okay, you know, I got used to it after 10 minutes. But you know, I'm really a fan of controlling the camera around and have full 3D. But you know, can't have everything. The skits have a cartoon style and I just love them. The game looks very good. It runs super smooth on the Switch, okay? And I play mostly handheld in bed. But so beautiful, okay? So beautiful. Mm. Music! I like the music. The music is fantastic. Uh, I want you guys to have a listen. The music is very RPG-ish. It sets the mood and uh, have a listen. Do I really seem that emo? The breeze that blows in a port city makes everything feel so different. It smells like the sea. Stand in the ocean wind too long and you'll get covered in salt, you know. Remember, prepare to die, egg bear. Verdict. I would recommend this title to newcomers of the series if you have never played a Tales of a game. I would recommend this as your starting point, actually. Out of all the Tales games I have played, this is the most accessible, in story-wise anyways. The story is so, you know, simple. Anyone in any age can follow along, I feel like, compared to other Tales games. Some Tales games has super complex stories. This one is a really good entryway for newcomers. I mean that, I really mean that. This game is even often praised as the best Tales game ever released. A lot of people say that. For me, it is too early to really, you know, say that. I need to give it more time and, you know, let some time pass because right now I'm into the hype. So it wouldn't be fair if I said, this is the best Tales game I've played. You know, I need to give it some time, let it rest a little and, you know, then look back because currently as things are, the best Tales game I have played, I believe it is Exilia 1 and 2. Mm, I like a lot of uh, the Tales games. They're so good. Oh god. Such a good series, okay. I was completely sucked in and addicted. This game is truly special and it gives me a good old RPG feeling. I recommend this game to everyone and for all ages. If you are a fan of RPGs, you will like this. I'm very confident when I say that you will like this game. I give it 8.5 out of 10. That is a high score considering me and how I score my games. So really recommend this game in other words. Um, it is worth it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Spell? I mean bell. Notification bell. 
and follow my Twitter and my Instagram. Mm -hmm. Trying to promote my own Instagram nowadays. If you want your name scrolling on the screen, on the other hand, you can check out patreon.com slash Isha, I-R-C-H-A. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye!